it's uh, almost in the afternoon and I'm about to get straight to it so what this video is about today as you can see here I've got a windshield wiper motor so what I have going on is if I can turn the key here there we go so wipers work just fine but when I press the button for the washer fluid I get nothing I mean the only thing that happens is the wipers sway back and forth and I came across a video uh, a couple of week, or a couple days ago, about a week ago, something like that. And Doctor Hudlin's desk can help you get ahead of it. Oh come on, man! Really? There we go. So anyway, I came across a video a couple days ago, and uh, there was an awesome guy on there uh, explaining that these uh, wiper mo really that these wiper motors have a circuit board in here now I'm not gonna pry this off because this is sealed up as you can see um, so basically what happens is something about water intrusion getting in there and shorting it out or something like that I've been in com uh, communication with him Mr. Charles Broderick I believe is his name um, he did give me permission to use his footage, so I will be uploading my, uh, his footage, um, here. So on my 2002 Ford F-350, the window washer stopped working, but intermittently it would work if it rained. So I went online to see what all I could figure out, and one thing was to replace this button or the knob where it, you actually push it that way to make it spray that was didn't fix it I have replaced the pump before checked all the fuses there was nothing there so I started tracking the wires back um, couldn't find anything online about this so there's a black and white wire that goes down to the pump that is a power wire so i tracked it back to the inside of the uh, engine compartment and that wire went up to the motor for the windshield wipers well that's the only place it could go and there was only one other wire supplying power to the motor on the windshield wipers so I proceeded to take the windshield wipers out and all that. You have to pull all this drill off. And when I got the motor out, come to find out, it has this circuit board in it. Now there was nothing online about it. Uh, there was no way of knowing this. Uh, I'm sure some people knew it, but I couldn't find anything online. So this is just to maybe help somebody if your windshield washer quits working and you've checked everything else, it ended up being this circuit right here. Um, I don't know if it was wet. My windshield wipers were still working. They would work in fast, slow, intermittent. They worked fine. But the washers would not work except for intermittent when it rained. So I figured water was getting into that circuit board and causing the issue. But thank goodness now, after a whole day, I now have working windshield wipers with washers. Maybe this will help somebody. Alright, I'm back. I had to finagle this thing out of here. I pulled it that way so towards the passenger side while also pulling upward on it at the same time which allowed it to come from underneath it and this thing is uh, trying to see if it's the original factory one yep yeah it is this thing was manufactured back in 2002 the same year as this truck so wow this this thing is uh <laughs> So, yeah, it probably has a lot of water intrusion down in there. And as you can see, 
let me pull this off of here and then I'll show you guys that this hang on no sense in pausing the video when I'm literally just unplugging this so as you can see down in there I'm wondering if I have the right one because let me take this off that that concerns me greatly let me grab my needle nose pliers here I see a big problem so I bought a five pin connector and as you can see there's two pins on one side two pins on the other but there are eight pins in the center that's no bueno so I have no idea what is going on. I'm going to see if this even fits. I may have made this whole video for nothing. Alright guys, well, I'm back six days later. Um, the beginning of this video took place on July 10th and it is now July 16th. Um, basically what's going on, I've already put this back together. Um, here is my old one. I ended up just buying a used one and I've already sent the old one back. But as you can see, you've got two blade ter terminals on the left, two terminals on the right, and you've got four, or I'm sorry, eight in the center. Four on the top, four on the bottom center. I'm going to also, um, I'm also going to, um, throw a pin out here all right now if you guys need to pause the video study that um, diagram and study it well it's very self-explanatory um, I've got everything buttoned back up uh, I did have to clean my uh, pump washer it was rusted because it hasn't worked in almost a year so um, I got all that squared away so let's see if these washers work should just be simple as pushing the button yep, that key is on oh yeah there we go I think I may need to replace the driver side spray nozzle as you can see the passenger side's got plenty of spray to it but it's uh pretty dry on my side over here so but yeah a lot of people don't know that the uh power supply to the pump washer which is over there is supplied through the uh, wiper motor and that's why i um talked to uh, Mr. Charles and he said that I did have permission to use his footage um, and uh, hopefully you guys can um, pretty much go from there sorry I'm I'm worn out it is hot uh, I think the heat index is already 104 105 something like that and it's not even uh, afternoon hours yet but anyway yep now the next thing I need to do is continue chasing the phantom uh, vibration, whatever's causing it. May have tracked it down. That's another video. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Later, Gators.